Good afternoon, and welcome to PA Distance Learning Charter School's Class of 2020 Commencement Ceremony. At this time, please welcome our CEO, Mrs. Patricia Rossetti. Welcome to the 2020 Pennsylvania Distance Learning Charter School Commencement Ceremony. I am Mrs. Rossetti, the Chief Executive Officer, and I would like to ask all seniors to please stand, look around them, and give a round of applause to their parents, teachers, and family members who have helped them along their journey. Thank you, and enjoy our commencement. Hello, welcome students, families, friends, and staff to Pennsylvania Distance Learning's first ever virtual graduation ceremony to honor the graduating class of 2020. I know many of you were looking forward to celebrating in person and meeting your teachers in Harrisburg, but our graduation committee has worked hard to make this a virtual ceremony to remember. I hope that you enjoy it, and afterwards, I hope you take the time to celebrate with your friends and families in groups of 25 or less because you deserve it. As I reflect on the school year and think about the obstacles that we have overcome, both together and individually, academically and in our personal lives, the theme that seemed most appropriate to speak to you about today is uncertainty. We have spent the past three months thinking about the uncertainty of the pandemic the uncertainty of how it might affect our friends and families, and the uncertainty of what the world would look like when it's over. Lately, we have had the uncertainty of the social protests as well. And even though we may have feared that uncertainty and the unknown, it made us stronger in the end. That fear gave us more strength and courage than we ever could have imagined. The fear of the unknown has allowed us to have more empathy for the people in our society and helped us to build a stronger sense of community. The past weeks, I'm sure, is not the only time where you feared uncertainty, and it surely won't be the last. Today, on your last day of high school, I know that fear resonates inside of you as you are uncertain of what the future has in store for you. I urge you to hold on to that fear and let it inspire you. If ever you find yourself struggling to stay positive, think about how you felt these last few months and remember the courage and strength you had to move forward. While preparing my words to you today, I took a moment to remember how I felt when I was in your shoes, uncertain of where my future would take me and uncertain of how my story would unfold. And from my experiences, I can offer you the following advice as you face your uncertainties. First, set high expectations, develop goals, and establish a clear path forward. Don't sell yourself short and take it one goal at a time. Remember that anything is possible. Second, don't be afraid of the future. Have courage. Always do what you think is best and right for you. Next, reflect often and remember that change can often be good. Finally, never give up. You are stronger than you think you are. As you start the next chapter of your life, remember that you are prepared and you are ready. During the past 13 years I have spent at Pennsylvania Distance Learning, I have had the pleasure of educating many young people and watching their stories unfold after graduation. I have asked some of these students to speak to you today they have all taken very different paths in their lives and they can offer you some advice. Greetings, class of 2020. Uh, my name's Sean Edney. I graduated from PA Distance in 2011. And I do want to say congratulations on your own graduation. Uh, you've made it through a very major step of your life and I do hope the upcoming years provide you with endless opportunities and excitement. Uh, I know this year isn't exactly normal with Sometimes life throws things we don't expect at us. Uh, it can not, not always feel ideal, but uh, speaking from personal experiences, what you choose to make of it is, well, it's of your own making. Uh, I feel that we are all our own architects in how we choose to go about life. And sometimes it takes a little bit of determination and 
do keep in mind, even if uh, you're in a spot right now where you don't necessarily feel it's the case, that we all have uh, that inner strength within us to succeed. Uh, sometimes, uh, for some more than others, it, as was the case with myself, it uh, just takes a little bit of awareness to enable enable that for us. Um, ultimately, I guess that's really all I can say. Uh, just again, can, I'm very happy for all of you. Um, I do hope that where you choose to go in life uh, works out for you. Um, life's uh, frankly a wonderful thing and uh, you can be in a bad place sometimes and as I found to be uh, to be the case you can reach the happiest years of your life with a little bit of effort on your own part. Hi graduating class of 2020 my name is Danielle Spagnolo and I am the graduate of the 2015 PA distance class. My life advice to you is to stay true to who you are no matter what the cost. Congratulations and good luck. Hello and congratulations to the PDLCS class of 2020 graduates. My name is Haley Miller and I graduated from PDLCS back in 2013. I know a lot has changed between then and now and this is a scary time especially for our seniors. But I want to remind you of this. Everything happening in our country right now is going to make history someday. Every action that you do, whether big or small, is going to be told in history books. We are going to tell our children and our grandchildren about these times, about the pandemic, about how we stayed home for months, about how our country was shut down, and about the activism that ensued afterwards. I want you to remember this. You are making history. Every action, whether big or small, is important. Good luck and congratulations to you all. I have a good feeling about all of you. As stated by a young graduate, the class of 2020 has a unique opportunity to lead by example. You did that in spite everything that's happening and you did not let anyone take you down. You have faced more obstacles in the past few months than people might ever face in a lifetime. Use the lessons you learned this year to overcome the challenges that you face in your life. Use the fear of uncertainty to inspire you as you move into adulthood and you start your next chapter. Remember, you are prepared for your future, you are college and career ready, and you will do amazing things. Congratulations to the class of 2020. You made it and you deserve all the success that is to come. Thank you. Hi folks. Great to see each, all, each and every one of you. Uh, for those of you who don't know me, my name is Mr. Micells. I teach United States government and history of the Holocaust here at PA Distance. So to start off, my privilege to announce salutatorian of the class of 2020, Ms. Kirsten DeGrave. Uh, my name is Kirsten DeGrave and I was a student here in middle school for three years and then I uh, left and went to public brick and mortar school and came back and now here I am graduating with the rest of you. Uh, we have made it so far and we've all worked so hard. I remember thinking my freshman year, I can't wait to graduate, I can't wait to get out of school, I can't wait to go to college, <laughs> but now looking back on it, it's gone by so fast, it's unbelievable. We have all had struggles, but we have also all had accomplishments and we should all be so proud of ourselves. Take a second to think about your favorite memories here, your favorite classes, field trips, teachers. Uh, there's so much to think about and so much to reminisce. I remember going to almost every bowling trip and I met friends, I met my teachers, and I always ate some pizza and it's a great memory and I will never forget it. Thank you all for attending this amazing graduation. Be proud of yourselves for making it this far. And thank you to the families who continue to motivate us every day and for the students who continue to work every day. William is our valedictorian of the class of 2020 and he has an amazing business, an amazing story, and some great advice that he's going to share with you as well. So our valedictorian of the class of 2020, Mr. William Barnhart III. Hello guys, my name is William Barnhart. I'm a senior this year. I've been running my own business for about four years. It didn't really get very big at all until like last year. If you haven't really set yourself up at all or been getting ready for this whole graduation thing and moving to pretty much adulthood, 
then you still can if you haven't done certain things to take steps to get ready yet you can find a way to be able to get where you want to be and you really shouldn't tell yourself that you can't because there's there's really infinite ways to get anywhere for sure even if it takes a little while of your life a few years 10 years whatever you just got to look at the long term and you got to set up short term goals to get there and that's the most important thing and thinking things through taking your time to do that and you know use your common sense to do what you think needs to be done and if you don't know what needs to be done then there's a lot of resources for help a lot of people in this school even after you're graduated will help and then a lot of people that you know parents grandparents cousins siblings whatever they can help too don't be afraid to ask for help everybody needs help sometimes so I guess that's it good luck everybody it is now our pleasure to showcase the Pennsylvania Distance Learning Charter School class of 2020 Faith Adams Faith has earned all high school credits here at PA Distance. Faith plans on working full-time after graduation. She plans on having a career working with animals and will eventually go to school to get a degree where she can still work with animals. Hayden Inchensko. Hayden plans on working part-time while attending a community college. Serena Armstrong. Serena is planning to go to a trade school for phlebotomy before furthering her education elsewhere. She'd like to thank her mom and dad for helping her along this path. Robert A. Bailey Mullen. Robert has earned all of his high school credits here at PA Distance. He would like to join the Army and is currently pursuing Firefighter 1 and possibly EMT certification. Robert Baker. After high school, Robert, an internationally known costume and prop maker, will continue running his business. William Barnhart III. Our valedictorian, William has earned all of his high school credits at PA Distance and is graduating with high honors. William has worked hard and is proud to be graduating a year early. He also has a flourishing blacksmithing business with products shipped to over 30 states and 6 countries. Zaire Blair. Zaire plans on going to the Community College of Allegheny County to become an RNA. By June, she plans to have her own house and be working towards an internship. She'd like to thank her daughter and parents for all of their help. Bonnie Carey. Bonnie plans on attending a trade school for massage therapy. She'd like to thank friends and family for always supporting her. Catherine Brooke Clopper. Brooke would like to thank all of her teachers that ever taught her or helped her. She'd like to thank her mom who is always wanting what's best for her and helping her when she needs it. Christiana Conroy. Christiana will be enlisting in the U.S. Army. She would like to send a shout out to Mrs. Devlin. Dylan Craigle. Dylan is a programmer and self-proclaimed nerd with a great sense of sarcasm and humor. He plans on attending college to pursue a career in coding and computer programming. Amina Dobby. Amina plans on making a career out of Chipotle Mexican Grill. She's also planning on taking advantage of their free business and administration college program. Kirsten DeGrave. Our salutatorian, Kirsten is graduating with high honors. Kirsten has been accepted to Penn State University, where she intends to study psychology. She'd like to shout out her family for motivating her, and to Mr. Mizells and Mrs. Arrow for making her senior year special. Robert Frank Dietrich III. Robert has earned all of his high school credits here at PA Distance. Robert is excited to continue working while pursuing a college education. He would like to thank all of his teachers for being nothing but the best to him on this journey. Autumn Rose DeVito. Autumn is graduating with honors. Autumn would like to thank all the teachers that have had faith in her. After graduation, she hopes to attend CCAC for two years and then transfer to a four-year university. Jacob Doak. Jacob plans to attend the Vet Tech School in Pittsburgh. The teachers and staff of PA Distance would like to congratulate Jacob on his graduation. 
Marissa Ellingsworth. Marissa is graduating with high honors. The teachers and staff at PA Distance would like to congratulate Marissa on her graduation. Eleandra Elizabeth Espinal. Eleandra has earned all of her high school credits at PA Distance Learning and is graduating with high honors. Eleandra would like to get a job as a vet assistant and then go to a community college and study to become a veterinarian doctor for veterinarian medicine. Jeremiah Fulgham. Jeremiah would like to thank his mom, grandma, and the teachers that helped him through his senior year. Desire Graffenreit. Desire has earned all of her high school credits at PA Distance Learning and is graduating with honors. Desire would like to thank all of her teachers and family. She plans to go to college after high school for animation. Larry Grant. The teachers and staff at PA Distance would like to congratulate Larry on his graduation. Talon Griffin. The teachers and staff at PA Distance would like to congratulate Talon on his graduation. Rowan Geilinger. Rowan plans on majoring in nursing as well as minoring in psychology. He would like to thank Mrs. Gates and Mrs. Petraglia for helping him throughout the year. He encourages everyone to stay happy and safe over the summer. Jeremy Heck. Jeremy is graduating with honors. Jeremy would like to thank all of his teachers for doing a very good job at making his last year of high school fun and pushing him to do his best. Serena Hernandez. Serena plans to continue her career at Sephora and also her freelance business. She'd like to thank her teachers and counselors for always being there and the friends she's met here at PA Distance. Samuel Herrera. Samuel plans to learn a trade and start his own company after high school. Nedia Issa. Nedia plans on becoming a mother and working at her local hospital or attending college for early childhood education. Carly Krynock. Carly plans to continue working next year and is saving up for a house and a car. Carissa Lamy. Carissa plans to attend a culinary school or work on her family farm. Chloe Lamy. Chloe plans on going to Lock Haven University to become a pediatrician. Mandy Lanfried. Mandy will be going to nursing school online to earn her degree. She would like to shout out her friends and dad for being there for her. Matthew McCulloch. Matthew plans to move out of state after graduation and attend college in the field of coding or game design. Caleb Marcus. Caleb has earned all of his high school credit at PA Distance Learning and is graduating with honors. After high school, Caleb will be attending community college to pursue a career in information technology. Christopher James Marquis. Christopher earned all of his credits here at PA Distance. Christopher wants to join the armed forces to protect and serve in the United States Army. He would like to thank the school and its staff for getting him through the school year. Haley Merrill. Haley is graduating with honors. Haley wants to thank her amazing family and friends who helped her get this far, and she will miss all the wonderful teachers and friends. She believes if you stick to what you believe in, you can accomplish anything. Ashley Martin. Ashley is graduating with honors. Ashley plans on studying within the field of psychology. She would like to give a shout out to the staff of PA Distance and say thank you for guiding her along this journey. Angelina Meeks. Angelina plans on attending the Community College of Allegheny County in the fall to work towards getting a teaching degree. She would like to give a shout out to Mrs. Fanning for just being a rad teacher and to Mrs. Gates for really helping her through her senior year. Grace Newman. Grace is graduating with high honors and plans on attending Tom Savini School in Manesson. She would like to give a shout out to all of her teachers who made her classes enjoyable. Shannon Painter. Shannon plans on attending Delaware County Community College. The teachers and staff of PA Distance would like to congratulate Shannon on her graduation. Tyler Perry. Tyler has earned all of his high school credits here at PA Distance and is graduating with high honors. He is considering a career as a game warden and is also considering the appropriate schooling. Mackenzie Reyes. 
Mackenzie is graduating with honors and plans to join the military after graduation. Amber Regal Witherspoon. Amber's worked hard to independently finish school and would like to thank her friends and family for supporting her throughout the process of getting her schoolwork done. Joanna Ritz. Joanna is planning on pursuing a career in working with animals. She would like to thank Mrs. Blose, Mrs. Devlin, and Ms. Crooks for helping and pushing her to reach her goal of graduation. Natrice Sherry Robertson. Natrice has earned all of her high school credits here at PA Distance, and she would like to thank her teachers for the, their help along the way. Namil Robinson. As one of the Foundation Award winners, Namil has earned all of his credits here at PA Distance. He plans on attending a training school. He'd like to shout out all of his teachers, classmates, and family. He wishes everyone well. Alan Romberger. Alan is graduating with high honors and would like to thank the people who live their own lives to their own design without needing to stay in societal boundaries. Madeline Sabo. After high school, Maddie is planning on working at a catering company to financially prepare herself for her post-secondary plans to work with children. Phoenix Lee Santiago. Phoenix has earned all of his credits here at PA Distance and plans on being employed with the same group that he completed his career project with. Phoenix would like to shout out his family and his teachers for all the support and help over the years. Joshua Jackson Shaw. As a Foundation Award winner, Josh has earned all of his credits here at PA Distance. Josh is also graduating with honors. After high school, Josh plans on attending a four-year university to move into the environmental field. Emily Smith. Emily is graduating with honors and plans on attending Messiah College in the fall. She'd like to thank her family, teachers, and friends for supporting her academic journey. Taylor Elizabeth Smith. Taylor is graduating with honors and was accepted into the University of South Alabama and plans to major in psychology and minor in atmospheric science. Gianna Stein. Gianna plans to take a year off of school to save up money to go to college. She'd like to shout out her family and all of her teachers that have helped her over the years. Brianni Stewart Wilson. Brianni plans to take a year off and work and then go to CCP for two years and transfer to a school that has a major that she chooses. She would like to thank her mom for being the best mom ever and always being there for her. Rebecca Serace. Rebecca has earned all of her credits here at PA Distance and plans on attending college to study psychology. Jasmine Taylor. Jasmine is graduating with honors and has earned all of her credits here at PA Distance. She would like to shout out her mom and her dad and her teachers at PA Distance that helped her. Zachary Taylor. Zach has earned all of his credits here at PA Distance and would like to say that his schooling experience has been a wild ride. Zach would like to join an online gaming league, be a character artist at a video game company, or maybe even pursue voice acting. Emily Titus. Emily is graduating with honors and is planning on attending Penn State Shenango to pursue studies in the medical field. She would like to give a shout out to all of her teachers that helped her stay motivated and also her family and close friends who have helped her get to this point. Angelique Ulrich. The teachers and staff at PA Distance would like to congratulate Angel on her graduation. Antonio Vallejo. The teachers and staff at PA Distance would like to congratulate Antonio on his graduation. Serafina Viola. Serafina plans on attending community college after high school. Justin Walk. Justin plans to continue working at a car dealership. He will also remain active as a volunteer firefighter in his local fire department. Sadie L. Walker. Sadie has earned all of her high school credits here at PA Distance. She plans on attending Community College of Philadelphia for two years, then transferring to a four-year college to pursue a career in the medical field. Joseph Wells. Joseph is graduating with high honors and has earned all high school credits here at PA Distance. Joseph plans to get a PhD in psychology. 
He would like to shout out his whole family and all the teachers who helped him achieve this once-in-a-lifetime goal. Seniors, please rise. Move your tassel from the right to the left, and congratulations. You are now a graduate of the Pennsylvania Distance Learning Charter School. Personal.